Uh, what we're going to be designing is a corsage that's going to be for a bride, or excuse me, a prom, and she's going to wear it on her sleeve right here, or on her arm. And you need to select flowers that would work with that as well as greeneries. Because we're going to be wearing it on her arm, we need to find some kind of greens that would be long so it would hang down and give it some movement on the arm. You also need filler flowers, uh, something that's small. Stephanotis is a, a good example. They add a little fragrance and elegance to the corsage. You can also use either a bud of a tea rose or you can use a full bloom in it, in it and have several of them to make a cluster of it. Or you can use just a single flower as an accent flower and have it be in the center of attention. And keep little greens around with you just so that you can fill in and add to the lines of your corsage and try to hide some of your construction that you're doing. So it's always good to have some extra little greens laying around the table with you. Uh, if you're going to use, which for, for high school uh, homecoming, it's always good to add some interest to it. Wire is becoming very popular in corsages and boutonnieres as well as maybe some rhinestones or things like that and you can add to it because the more fun it is the more the kids will love it and it stands out and it means something to them that's very important and doing it in silk is something that they could keep as a nice keepsake for a long time and uh, enjoy the event that they had and basically the next step is finding uh, the type of flowers and any kind of uh, bling that they want to add to it